In this video, I will talk about how to do sentiment analysis in Power BI using AI Insight in just a few clicks. Please stay tuned. Hello and welcome to Learning Sex. Sentiment analysis is the process of detecting positive or negative sentiment in text. It is often used by businesses to detect sentiment in social data, customer feedbacks, positive and negative news, etc. Let us jump to the computer. Let me first show you my data table. So I'll go to transform data in tra from transform data. I will go to Power Query Editor. News data is my table. It has a two column news ID and news. These news are the different kind of news related to sports. Automobile COVID related. So I will I want to perform the sentiment on news, so I'll click on the news column. And here if you can see the text analytics. I will click on the text analytics and we have to wait for some time. So this is my AI function score sentiment, so I'll click here. And I have already selected the column news, so it is appearing here. Or you can also select from here as well. So and this is the language. If you want to specify the language, you can specify. Otherwise it is optional and click OK. And click on apply changes. So let me go back to the Power Query editor. So if you notice here earlier, I have a two column news ID and news. Now the new new column is added here. Score sentiment. So for each news, there will be the sum score. Lower score means the negative news. The like, you know. Higher score means positive news. So if you can see here the 94%, 98%. So let me change it to. Decimal place number data. For a score sentiment. Let me click close and apply. Apply changes. So now let me add a table. So this is my table. What I'm going to do. From news data table, I will add news. In column and I will add sentiment score. So now my sentiment score is in decimal number. And in formatting option of the table, I will go to the cells element and in cells element, I will select sentiment score. And on icon, I will enable the icon. So now my icon is enabled. And if you see, it is giving me the score. So let me show you. So it is defined here if. Greater than equal to 0 to 33, it is negative. 33 to 67, it is neutral. And if it is 67 to 100, positive. You can define, you can customize this uh, sentiment according to your requirement that I will show you. So now if you want. If you want to see this kind of layout like you know, this is the I have customized this sentiment. So what we are going to do. So. I have added this is my sentiment score and I have added the custom column. So in custom column, what I'm saying, if the my sentiment is greater than or equal to 67%, put it positive. If my sentiment is greater than or equal to 33%, then put neutral, otherwise negative. So now this is the rating I have decided. You can customize your rating as per your choice. Now I have. I have added three majors, four majors basically. So one major here you can see. So I'm counting the all document ID. Or in my previous data set, there will be the news ID. So I'm counting all the document ID. So it will give me the total count of document ID. 
and after that i have added one more three more majors this what i am doing i am counting i am counting the my row based on rating neutral so the it will give me the total total count of neutral rating similarly for negative one i am again counting the negative and last one is the positive one okay so four major i have created now i want to find out the percentage so now i am finding the percentage document dot negative count this major already i have created divide by document dot total this major i have created so i find out the negative percentage similarly for the neutral percentage and positive percentage and i mapped here like you know if you can see here this is my negative percentage this is my positive per neutral percentage and this is my positive percent and this you already know how to do this only the icon is different and i have choose i different icon here that's all for this video i request you to please subscribe my channel thank you for watching